is WJLG. You're locked into the institution. And here is my G.I. Joe collection. As I promised y'all yesterday, I'd make a quick video of it. Up top, we have some of the G.I. Joe retaliation figures that I collected. I was okay, but mm, they still haven't made a G.I. Joe movie as good as I want. But that's just me being picky, I guess. And on top are my Cobra characters because I always love the bad guys. That's just the way I roll. Major Blood, Tomax, Zaymont, Zartan, the Cobra Commander, Baroness, Destro, my all-time favorite Firefly, Storm Shadow, Crimson Guard, Cobra Trooper, Wild Weasel, another Storm Shadow, another Firefly, Scrap Iron, Copperhead, another Firefly, Cobra Paratrooper, Cobra Trooper, Cobra Eel, Cobra Ninja Viper, Cobra Diver, Cobra Bazooka Trooper, Python Patrol Trooper, Croc Master and his Croc, and another Destro. And now to our G.I. Joes. Now this top row is all my favorite G.I. Joes throughout the years. We have Shipwreck, Rock and Roll, Flash, Scarlet, Duke, Snake Eyes of course, Stalker, Air, Airborne, and Beachhead. Then we also have Wild Bill, Dial Tone, uh, Gung Ho, excuse me there, Snow Job, Rock and Roll, I mean uh, Roadblock, General Hawk, Mutt and Junkyard, Blowtorch, Ace, more, and there's Footloose, Outback, Barrel Roll, I think. Now these are some of the later Joes. Another Shipwreck, Snake Eyes, Stalker, Storm Shadow. All this is from the origin of Snake Eyes comic book. Matter of fact, it's that one right there. Then we have Spirit, Shockwave, or Shock Blast, I should say, and Torpedo. More Cobra villains. I ain't gonna name all of them. But I just let y'all peruse through them. My various Cobra commanders and. Serpento and not the mind bender. Original Firefly. Another Major Blood. Various Vipers. Troopers. Another Cobra Commander. Baroness. Viper. Like I said, a lot of troopers on this shelf. More Cobra Commander variants. Cobra Viper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swamp Rad. Another Dreadnought. Python Patrol. Tele Viper. Another Baroness. Another mind bender. A weird looking Cobra Commander. Looks like he's part of the Japanese military police and that. <laughs> Out that good up. And then we have Zorana, Zartan. It's getting a little blurry. And more Dreadnoughts. Let me see. We got Torch, Ripper, Buzzer, Zorana, Zartan, Monkey Wrench. Then down here we got more Joes. Do, 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 do. I just scan. I don't want to talk myself to death. Two variations of Snake Eyes right there. Rock and Roll, Short Fuse, Rakondo, Tripwire, I believe that's Flash again, Stalker again, Scarlet again, General Hawk, a couple newer characters, du -du -du -du. and Bazooka update, and another Wild Bill. And then we have the October Guard, the Russian equivalent of G.I. Joe, and that's my favorite one at the very end there, Horror Show. Him and Gung Ho went at it in the animated series, it was quite hilarious. And then we got more of the October Guard, don't know all the names, Hologram Cobra Commander there, like they call Cobra Commander, but he's a hologram, ha 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 ha, he gets the last laugh. And more of October Guard. Okay, let's back up here, get the overall aspect of this case, because this. One, two, three, four. Shelby. About roughly 120 characters. Up top here, we have two comics that my old boss man, David Collins, picked up at a comic book convention. Both of them signed by Larry Hammer, the guy behind all the storylines, the story arcs of all the main characters from the beginning. Various issues of the comic books, mostly from the 25th anniversary wave to come with action figures. 
favorite episode right there, Silent Interlude. Great comic book. Cobra Commander Escapes. A couple Dollar General exclusives. Storm Shouter. Cobra Commander. Also, uh, more comics. More comics. More comics, Destro. And Dreadnoughts on that cover. Here's some of the new retro line that you get exclusively at Walmart. I've only missed them four so far, and they've recently come out, so it should be hard for me to get those. We have Lady J, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes was the first G.I. Joe figure I picked up back in the day in 83, I believe it was. Yes, it was, because I was looking to complete my collection of the Empire Strikes Back figures, and I was looking for four Lom and Zuckus. Couldn't find them, but these packages drew me in. That's like the original artwork right there. And so I picked up Snake Eyes and Cobra Trooper. And every time I go back to the Greenwood Mall, that cycle would continue. Joe figure, Cobra figure. And we have Scarlet, Roadblock, Baroness, Destro, and Storm Shadow. Like I said, that's the new retro collection. And I also have in the retro collection, Duke and the Cobra Commander. There's a couple bats up there on the shot right there above the curtain. Here's my second cases. Up top we have the new Fang from the retro line. A Destro, his tank, and a box set from G.I. Joe the movie The Rise of Cobra. This is my various vehicles and auxiliary characters. His tank with the Urban Assault Squad Cobra Troopers. And there's some more Joes, more Cobras, Cobra 3 pack with Iron Grenaders, Grenaders, Grand Eaters, whatever they're called, Cobra Commander, Cobra Trooper, and Cobra Officer 3 pack, a couple more comics, Firefly vs. Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes vs. Storm Shadow, more vehicles, and there's Mentor again, and Cobra Commander decked out in the red ceremonial garb. More vehicles and jazz. There's Major Blood. Cobra Paratrooper packaged. Here we go with the, another His Tank and Cobra Night Patrol figures, exclusives, more Joes. And more Joes. There's a glare on this. I hope it don't ruin the video. More Joes. Cobras, there's another Copperhead, Televiper, Sword Troopers, there's Timber and Snake Eyes, love that two pack right there, Mutt and Junkyard, Law and Order, and Original Recondo that Bruce gifted me for Christmas this year, that was pretty sweet, all the way back to 85, and a few more vehicles, here goes some more villains, there's Destro in the background, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, the Cobra Commander, Cobra Bat. Like I said, this is just my G.I. Joe collection. I thought I'd give it a whirl, let y'all see what y'all thought about it and everything. And in closing, I have a lot more action figures coming for this line, including more of the classified series that I showed you on my last, last video. The retro line, I got four to pick up. Stalker, Cobra Trooper, Grunt, and Cobra Officer are out now. And a third, or the Hiss 3 is out in the retro vehicle line. Don't know why they didn't come out with a vamp. I don't ask questions. I'm just glad we get what we get, I guess. Anyway, this has been WJLG. This was my G.I. Joe collection. What do you think about it? Do you love the series as much as I do? And in part, I'd like to thank the people that got me back into collecting during this COVID outbreak of last year. Tony and Analog Toys, Hooded Cobra Commander 788, and various other action figure enthusiasts that I've watched during the outbreak and got me back into collecting all these figures were stored in the attic i mean the loft at man cave and seven different blue totes all from the fire damage that i suffered in the trailer the package was a little burned singed maybe a little damaged from the fire hoses but the action figures themselves are in primo shape so i'm glad of that got them displayed cases took a little time to get these cases and took a little time to get them squared away. I mean, they got a long way to go with the collection, got a long way to go with what I'm going to do. Probably won't all be in this room because it's just too tight. This has been WJLG. You were locked into the institution and yo, Joe!